Hello, everybody. I'm Kenneth Copeland. We've been praying about this oil spill down there in the Gulf and all of that destruction. And we, we know that all of that kind of thing has come on this planet and is, it comes into our lives through the curse and the, the very curse of, uh, uh, that came on this earth through sin and death and so forth. Now, the 103rd Psalm says that bless the Lord, O my soul, for get not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who healeth all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction. That is a destructive force that has been released and, and it, to affect your lives and, and all that we do in, a, in our economy and all of that. I'm telling you right now, we are redeemed from that. And he has rebuked the devourer for our sake, who is our, the tither. We have privileges as tithers, praise God. And in the name of Jesus, I don't care what foolish things other men do that bring the curse down on, a, on an area and on our economy and all that. They can't bring curse into my house and they can't bring curse into your house because Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of destruction. And in the name of Jesus, Father, we stand together with our partners, particularly in the, the, in the, Gulf, Cor, uh, the Gulf Coast area. We stand against this curse in Jesus' name. And Father, we're asking you to reveal to your people how to stop this thing, how to pray about it, how to believe God against this thing. Praise the Lord. And Father, give, give our partners revelation. Give your people the brilliant ideas of how to cap that thing and stop it and how to get the oil out of the, out of the water and all of the things that it takes. Oh, Lord, you've got people crying out to you about it. Give them the inventions and the, and the knowledge to do this thing. And we thank you for it. We give you praise that we are redeemed and it will not come nigh us. And that throws us right back into the 91st Psalm. Praise God. The angels are involved in this thing. Amen. Oh, praise God. No evil befall you. Neither shall any plague come nigh your direction, your, your dwelling, because he has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. Ministering spirits of God, move into that area and stop that disastrous oil spill from destroying God's people. In Jesus' name, amen.